Hello YouTube and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6. We're playing uh yeah, we're playing Spain and and uh yeah, uh, uh, the joke that I made in the Discord today was if you don't expect the Inquisition at this point, it's on you. Um which I'm going to, you know, that's true. It's true at this point. We're I think I like 1 2 3 4 cities and I think we can get the uh the 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 build the relevant building for it as well. I still think we're going to war uh Congo eventually here with some muskets. Our our, uh, our conquistadors, and then like maybe after we've done the building and we get Magnus level two, we can we can do the war, and then like we can actually settle some late cities. We we have potentially lots of nice seaside resorts here. We could turn this into a culture game. Um, we're gonna have mass faith gen. We could actually, you know, what, you know, what would be kind of fun is um like not really doing tourism stuff, but then just get all the faith gen in the world and see if we can just win tourism with rock bands. Just go straight up rock bands only. That could be a fun idea as well. Uh, I need builders. We have a lot of faith here. I have a lot of faith. All right, what are we? What are we going after? I do. I need to find this. So, am I hard teching the watermill, or am I building a watermill? I'm not building a watermill. Yeah. So we can just hard tech construction. I don't think we need that. And then I do want to get some uh, some some holy sites going. So we just tech right through this. Am I an Animal Crossing fan? I honestly have never played it. And the whole world is going crazy with it right now. And it makes me want to play it. So I don't know. But no, I've never actually played it, sadly. Yeah, that sounds about right, Peppermint. Sell Diplo favor and buy the watermill. Could. Could also suzerain. I don't want to suzerain here. They're just going to take more of my tiles. Wow. Yeah. See, even more land to settle, even though it's on my home continent. Can be build seaside resorts in any tiles as long as it's coastal and volcanic. Yeah. Yep. 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 I like this. I like stabilizing our gold, getting some housing, taking advantage of Earth Goddess tiles. Looking pretty good so far. And then I want Earth Goddess plus all the missions. So I'm going to settle this. We can get that there. So that'll go up to being Earth Goddess. This will go up by two, so it won't be a little tricky appeal-wise. I can use theater squares and entertainment complexes to further increase appeal, but hmm. Cleared that, all done. One turn here, two turns on political philosophy. Can't really make that go any faster. Um, granary would be good for them. Maybe we wind up doing that. Might be too passive. Yeah, it could be. I'm not sure. Imagine me playing Doom Eternal. I actually kind of want to. <laughs> Uh, doing okay, Erd Marty. H how's it down by you? It's it's it seems just like crazy times. People are are doing okay here in the states, but I don't know. It's just kind of crazy. Everything everything feels nuts. Are you being warred? No. Are you being warred? No. One, two, three. So they did need a housing to keep growing. Yeah, that was that was a thing that I thought of. Or just get this online. Maybe we'll buy that. Isn't Spain supposed to be coastal? I actually don't think they're supposed to be coastal. They have a small benefit to fleets and armadas, but it's pretty minor. And uh, and and yeah, I, I think they're much better off at, at being at fighting a continent split. Watermill here is fine. I really need this. And then next turn I can do it.
yes, they do have a coastal bias. That is true. I didn't mean to mislead you there, but I don't think they're. I don't think they excel at being a coastal sieve. I think they're meant to be played on a continent split. Politics is the art of the so we could switch into um, autocracy and try to like chop out a wonder here with Magnus, but mostly we have woods. What's your game plan with the prophet? Um, nothing yet, other than securing a religion. Do I want to chop out a wonder? I don't have the builder for it is the problem. This guy only has one charge left. It's probably better to just get started on the building and get my cities down. Like Oracle's nice, but we don't need it. This could kind of be anything. That's so scary, Erd. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my friend. It's good. Yeah, a lot of people are going to die this year. Ugh. All right. I don't think I'm going to chop out the wonder. Autocracy is really good if you specifically have something in mind. I would just sort of be doing it for the sake of doing it. I think I'd rather switch into either oligarchy or classic republic here um, and get on my settler spam. I'm I'm afraid that I should be an uh, uh, oligarchy, so I'm a little nervous to switch into this now. If Congo comes and attacks me, I'm gonna need this for combat strength. Oh, whatever, YOLO. Settlers production. I don't need settlers actually quite yet. We can do something else there for a minute. Maybe I can get some builders. Actually, what does this look like? I can send a first time Suze or a first time envoy to Fez. That seems okay. No limes yet. Well, new, that, that, that's probably inflated just because New York's actually doing a good job of testing. Uh, other places are probably like that bigger Yarl. They just don't actually know who has the disease or the uh, virus, rather. I think I like a couple builders then. Let's do this. So we give them a tile. It's fine. They already built their campus, sadly. All right, we can go here for a policy switch. And then I do want this uh, granary, I guess. Um, do I need it now? Not really. This is 10 turns still. This is so expensive. This really slows down this part of the game. I don't like it. Every time I go Ancestral Hall, I regret it. I want to thank you for leaving the tile yields on. Sometimes people play with them off and it's distressing. I really can't play without it. Like, there's too much information. Like, there's it's too important to know, like, what your cities are up to, in my opinion. Yeah, this is what I'm afraid of. Unmet goes Machu Picchu turn 66. Going to do that. They need the housing. Uh, and it's a nice another luxury for us. Could we sell something? I mean, we could go down this route, but I don't think there's a lot of reason to. He only has two cities. I mean, I only have three, but, hmm. Here come my builders. Just 
kind of want to go and check up on him with my warrior. Nothing else to do, really. Congo, I don't think, is fighting Hungary. I actually don't remember where Hungary is. Somebody, somebody's here. Well, here, anyways. Hungary, I don't remember where he is. So. Two cities, but look at that science. Isn't that crazy? I wonder if the people playing with tile yields... Uh, the people playing with tile yields off are, are so intelligent that they just know all the bonuses. I mean, that's fine. I don't claim to be intelligent, I guess. What's that? Temple of Artemis. Bravery. Daniel Craig plays without tiled yields. <laughs> Is there an option to see improvement icons like mines and camps other than going into strategy view? I don't really think so. Like this kind of shows you plantations and stuff, but it's 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 just as weird to look at as it is just, you know, things normally, I think. All right, done with this. I'm go scientist or general points here. I might want to start working on some general points. We're eventually going to need a uh, a Renaissance general to go with our muskets. Although we don't, we might not need it. We could also maybe just outright faith buy it. That could be cute. 155. I don't see a better policy to, or a better thing to run here, though. I really don't. I guess settlers, but that's uh, seven turns away. So I actually think it is general points, weirdly enough. Probably the first game, game I've ever built or ever boosted games and recreation. We did it. Bring this guy up to the cap. We can chop things out. Okay, at least he built an aqueduct. I put their holy site there. This actually does become an earth goddess tile. It's not much of a mission, though. It'll be a double mission, but it's not on a new continent. This is pretty close to what you want to be doing. It's just on, on our home continent, which is not ideal. What's going on over here, Scotland? So we have this road already. That's good. I probably want some kind of road from over here. Work on a little bit of infrastructure here. Okay. And I want to suzerain Fez, ideally, before we before we pop our profit, right? So, Fez, um, when you use your... Oh, actually, you, it doesn't work, right? You have to use a religious unit. We've learned this. Never mind. It doesn't count. Oh, hi. I 
could see going to Fez being fine. Kind of want to just pick it based on yields, though, and that's not a great one. Don't really need this road. They already are halfway there. I suppose I could build him this road. To help with my future war efforts. Otherwise, it's something down here. Oh, I don't hate this one. That's decent. And we get nine gold out of it because it's international. I like that. That's fine. There he is. Kind of thought this was going to happen. So, where are we at? Gonna need some archers. So much for my trade route. Just go to Babylon. Really glad we got the walls here. Can't do anything about this, unfortunately. They're kind of a threat then. And he's killing candy. Don't you know that's not very nice? I could suzer in here real quick just to see if they'll like be motivated to bring some troops up here to maybe help me out. They're only 220 to levy. And I would get several swordsmen. It's with the aggressive AI, I don't know. They've been really aggressive lately. Although, if I levy them, I pretty much just fight Kabul with their units. So maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I'm better off buying an archer up here. I think I need to buy an archer this turn. How much money do I need? 28. Are they still... Two, they're still 240, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Thalia. How are you? Yeah, I hope you're safe, too. Good to see you. Happy Monday. Hate doing this so much. One more. Suzerain of Babylon went away. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't spend spend any envoys here. Hopefully Candy Candy can just defend themselves. I didn't have any iron, did I? Oh, it's up here that I need to get it. That's, that's That sounds about right. I was selling favor. Hey, GM, I watched your YouTube videos last several months. This is the first time joining the stream. Hey, man, welcome in. Good to have you here. Is it, uh, wait, is it, what can I call you? Just YJ? <laughs> welcome in, man. Thank you so much for stopping by the live stream. Happy to have you here, and thank you. Thanks for watching uh, YouTube stuff. That's great.
bread is the first. Don't pillage my holy site. That would be very rude. All right, this is going to be weird. So what do I do? Yeah, do I sell or spam or do I chop out a couple units here? I think I can sneak up here. And if I can sneak up there, I can sneak over here. And I can maybe sneak something out there. I actually think I settler spam. Don't need this anymore. And then what did these guys build? Just a couple more archers. Even though he's pretty good against archers. It's probably okay. I don't need builders. I can bring in settlers here and keep working on the general. Switch back into oligarchy. I'm going to really try to do it without, but yeah, it, my point earlier or my fear earlier definitely came true. Thinking about Victor, just don't know if I really need him. I can maybe save it for now. You can buy settlers with faith when you're in a monumentality golden age. Yeah, he's got a lot of units coming. Okay. Okay. Dark Age is coming now too. It's really not good. Wow. Okay. Oh no, I, I, I don't have the bonus. We took uh we took Exodus here to to make sure we could actually get a religion. I don't have the money to levy. And it's and it's not a good use of money. It can very quickly go away. So I've got to get some uh, era score going on here. Hmm. 
I'm fine with a normal. I'd obviously prefer a monumentality to start spending some of this faith. Um, but for now, we just got to roll with them punches. This is good, though. They should help us a lot now. Unless they get reflipped. Pillaging my campus. Yeah, see, this is the strength of his unit. And on Deity, it's practically insurmountable. Being able to, like, to try to even kill one of those is very, very difficult. I probably do need Victor then. So I'm not getting this one at the moment, which is not great. It's fixed. You can actually look at it, Soccer Man. Um, oh, actually, where is it? It's, um, is it under the, is it under this? Pillage Award. There you go. I'm scared here. This is not good. I guess. I don't know. He has a pretty massive military. This is a scary situation. Yikes. Oh dear. Uh, is that me? Got crossbows. Uh, not yet. And he's about to get a medieval general. I might be dead here again. What has happened with this game? Good. I actually wanted it to work out this way to keep my warrior in here to hold the strength of the of the city. That should kill it. Nice. All right, they cleared it. I don't want to heal my my or repair my stuff while he's just chilling here. Yeah, I mistook me for barbs. That could be. I don't have iron. I have warriors. I'm about to get my iron.
I was moving Amana, yes. Two turns till established here. Six turns to find three era score. I am a long ways away from unlocking missions. They are all the way here. It's actually not a lie. Unless he gets mad at this. Been a good sieve? No, they're bottom three in my rankings. I think that's the last one I can afford. Now, do I want to be greedy and try to get this guy down here? If my loyalty is this bad already, it's probably not going to happen. I'm not thrilled about this coastal settle. Um, but I don't know where else I'm going with this city. Nowhere useful. Oh, yeah, you're seeing monasteries because I'm suzerain uh, here. Oh, cool. Hey, man. Thank you for the 11 months. <laughs> I haven't watched a stream in several months, yet I still come back to resubscribe. <laughs> You've given me lots of knowledge and insight about this game, so I do not feel I'm at value for value parity just yet. Stay healthy and safe. Thank you, all cool. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome back. Appreciate the 11 months. Yeah, we have an order that's determined on uh, chronology. Ultimately, I want this city way more than this coastal. The coastal's fine, and it's probably more gettable at the moment. Uh, I guess I can, ch I can, yeah. Okay, it's okay. Ouchies. Oh, that's him. Interesting. Who did I just meet? Oh, we just met Geneva? Okay. That's fine. Okay, okay. Hey, Vlad. How you doing, buddy? Can't do this because he's standing there. Pyramid's still available. 
Would that I could, game. Would that I could. Really need to start getting some melee units. Next, this is the moment of truth, though. <laughs> this very, very important moment is about to occur where we find out if we have a uh, niter or not. And we got our normal age, so that's good. Got our Suzer in there, met new people. Yeah, we can always reroute this settler to go find Niter. Oh, that was a duplicate. Nice. Um, sure. Is red my favorite color? I always play red. Actually, do I? I don't mean to. Uh no. No, red is not my favorite color. Invincibility line. Um, really? Balanced settings? Huh. Um, okay. I guess that's just game over. Wow. I actually think this is game over. I can't do anything without Niner. He's got three. <laughs> I, I, I could try to force this to happen, but it's only one resource, and it's really far away. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I, I actually think that's game over, you guys. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's balanced settings, too. I intentionally put balanced in to... Uh, to make sure that we had the strategics we wanted. So, I'm supposed to win with five, six cities? Nah, you can't trade for it. Not effectively. It's too expensive. You add a giant cost onto, onto your main unit. What up, Brett? How you doing, dude? <laughs> Good. I'm glad you're liking it. Thanks for watching. Rush oil? We don't survive long enough to oil. Rushing oil is not a thing that's possible. You can't rush to a late game thing, unfortunately. Um... I hate this. Like, I act like this is the most what a waste of time this feels like, you know, and I, I, I don't I don't want it to be a gimme. Like, it's it's cool to have to go settle a city for a resource or something like that. But to not be not even be able to do that is kind of kind of soul crushing. Wow. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to decide if we're going to keep playing this game or not, uh, which means that we're going to say goodbye to you, friendly folks over on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I don't really know what to tell you guys. I think we might have two losses in a row just because I, I don't have any room now. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.